to make a provincial girl happy? Hmm, it depends also because uh, me, I have big dreams and I don't, <laughs> I don't like anybody like, he, sh he knows that. I don't like anybody uh, giving me money for free. Like, because I, I have this, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? Like a uh, perception or like I have this, I have this, uh, what do you call this? Uh, personality? Personality in my, my, my own personality. I don't want anybody uh, spending money for me. Like I can spend my own money. I can, I can provide myself because I don't want like uh, one day you're gonna, you're gonna ask for uh what you call that? Oh, I pay you this. I give you this. Boy, you boy. have to give me that. Oh, you have to give me what I want. Oh, you're talking about, um, so I don't like that. What is that? I don't so know what the depends. English version of that is. Yeah, it depends because me, I have big dreams and maybe some woman, but not not me, not not for the people I know. There are some, but like maybe not not all, not all. So let's go. Maybe that's only his experience because he met the that type of Filipina. But yeah. I know some Filipina are very independent. Most of my friends are they're very independent. They don't like uh, somebody to like you know giving them money for free. So because they don't want like you know asking it for for return. Like oh one day you have to pay me this or you have to. Like, or just in case you get into a fight, the foreigner or the Filipino yeah. goes, don't you know what I did yeah, for you? Yeah. So. Don't you know what I did this? Which is. That's a no-no for anybody. American relationship, Filipino relationship. You should never be in a position like, don't you know I took you out of the, out of out of the province and then don't you know that's very very wrong. Let's go into the cons. Most provincial women, pure provincial women, mm -hmm. um, they have less life experience. Yes. They're more shy and timid, and there is a significant language barrier for conversation for more provincial women opposed to uh, city women. Yes, it does because uh, provincial women they tend to shy and they don't like express like uh, they're not used to express their expressions, uh, not like their in feelings. the city. Yeah, their feelings. Uh, not not like in the city because in the city is like they they are like open minded and they are like they're used to people like talking or um, what do you call that they're having not, conversation. Yeah. But in the in the province, uh, when I'm living in the province, especially when you see older people are talking, you cannot talk to like you know you cannot like you cannot have interrupt. a conversation interrupt with them. We have to go somewhere else. Yes, and uh, or unless they ask you like ask you a question or something. Yeah, that's the time. So there sometimes like you know when you are not used to things. Yeah. You will like hesitant to yeah. like. To express. I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, what I see is, when I see foreigners date girls from the province, I can usually tell the conversation. Uh, I mean, I can usually sometimes tell where the girl comes from is when they don't even, they don't even talk. They're just like yeah. the guy's eating. The the guy usually just keeps talking about whatever, and the girl usually, goes, uh huh, uh huh, yeah. uh huh. Opposed to educated girl, girl from the city opinionated mm -hmm. will say what she is she, she, they're you know. like open-minded yeah. open-minded so he will see she will say like if she doesn't like it or not they tend to be like shy shy yeah then a lot of them don't even really i mean i i see i have friends who bring around uh girls and i i ask them oh where are you from whatever whatever and usually there's a um they don't really say nothing city women pros pros about women women from the city now, now, let me just preface this as women whose families have stayed in the city at least more than three or four generations. Because at one point, I'm sure they had to come down from mm -hmm. the province or come out from the province. But let's say three or four generations in the, the city. So some pros for city women, if you agree with me, is one, uh, they're more outgoing. The conversations are better. And um, the life experience is a bit more diverse because for me, they are around different sets of people, yeah. different sets of, whether it be foreigner, mm -hmm. Bombay, Turco, African, that like they're, they're all foreigners. Korean. I'm talking about American, Korean, Spanish. Chinese, um, people from different parts of the country, Bisaya, Taosu, yeah. uh, Kampampangan, Ilocano, Ilongo. So for me, they're a bit more diverse than the pe from the girls or boys from the province. So let's go on point one. Do you think city girls are a bit more outgoing? Yes. I believe 
so like weird. as in you can go up to a city girl and say hello and she'll have a conversation with you but sometimes you will find uh, like very like shy people to in the city, in the city? Also. yeah I get but not not like in the province it's okay, very, okay let's say percentage wise maybe uh, the, like 10 percent can yeah but you have higher percentage in the city that they will they'll be more willing to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Versus the provincial. Yeah. I find when I say hello to girls in the provincial, your family and stuff, they'll just say, they'll go like that and they'll walk away. Like, like, like and they'll walk away. <laughs> yeah. Like I wanted to have a conversation with you. But okay, the conver the English conversation, the language barrier is less in the city than in the province. Are you talking like English? English, yeah, just basic because that's a medium language for everybody. Okay. In it. I believe so because like, like especially this time, uh, in school you have to speak English all the time. So I believe that uh, more uh, women in the city are very like you know like they can express. But I think it's also because um, they're forced to practice more often. Yeah, yeah. Because in the province, that's you just speak English in school and in you school, go home. And then you go home. But, but in the city, yeah. You forced to, to because to speak. because of the different people living there. Right, because some some Ilongo people, or not even Ilongo. Let's say like people from down south, or even me. I don't really speak Bisaya. I'm in Tagalog, so mm -hmm. Tagalog people are forced to speak English to me because yeah. unless they speak Bisaya. Let's go over the kinds of city women. So I have um, many of their life standard is a bit higher than the provincial woman. Like no, I need a fridge. I need a washer and dryer. Yes, I need yes. this. I need that. I need this. I need that. Yes. What you, what's your per opinion? I mean, it's true though. It's true because like they see because they see in 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 um their what do you call that in the community like yeah oh uh they they have a ref so I have to get it. Or I need internet. Like I need I this. need internet or I need I need oh it's it's this it's gonna no I no I I've, I've met provincial people girls that be like oh mahala okay yeah no, I don't care but city girls. Uh, we need uh, furniture from you. Need find nice furniture. You need this. You need that. And I, I'm not. Sometimes I'm not, like uh, the people in the province is like some people are content. Contento. Contento. Yeah. Which is for me. I mean, for her and I are always the same in this point of view. It is never. T it is never good to be ever content with anything. Mm -hmm. you always got to keep leveling up. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we see. In the province, unfortunately, people just not giving up, but like, okay, I have been, that's, it, that's it, that's it, no more. So next one is, um, it costs a little bit higher to maintain a city relationship with a girl, okay, opposed to money wise. Money wise, if you're dating, like, okay, for, this is my per, per, point of view. When you date with a provincial girl, you might just go by the bye bye by the boardwalk. That's it. Super simple. You might just bring chooks to go to the house. That's it, right? You might go to the disco. That's it. City girl, uh, it's almost like Western girls. Uh, I have to go to dinner. I have to do this. Where are we? Where are we going tonight? That's usually the quote. Where are we going tonight? What are we eating tonight? What? Oh, I love that bag. Right? I love that. I don't. I don't see provincial girls really going crazy like that. <laughs> am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, it's kind of fifty-fifty, though. I don't know, man. I, I, yeah, I, yo, listen, like... listen. You, you're talking. Don't, don't, don't compare yourself. <laughs> okay, because you see our neighbors, they'll be like, 